What up, pimps? It's your boy, Jeebs, and uh, we're in an Audi e-tron GT RS. I'm gonna be very honest with you guys. There are other videos out there that will be more informative. This will be more entertaining. Alcantara steering wheel feels incredible. What I wanna say, it feels like I can't say, so use your imagination. Fully carbon fiber dash here. Carbon fiber roof, the entire roof is carbon fiber, so you can't see out of it. It's as you would imagine from Audi, and especially from an RS model. I'm gonna be excited to actually get on this thing a little bit and take it for a spin. And also, big shout out to uh, Out of Spec Motoring and Kyle and for setting this up and the whole team, Lexi. They did a great job, like it's really nice for people to do this for a living to have all these cars set up back to back. Thank you to them. So. Audi e-tron GT RS, built on the same chassis as the Porsche Taycan. I've driven the Taycan. If you haven't seen that review, click the card at the top of your screen. But we are off. You can see where it says charge on the left side. When I hit up, it reduces the amount. And I think that's the regen. So it might actually do the same thing. So let's let off. So you can see where it says charge on the left side. When I hit up, it reduces the amount and I think that's the regen so it might actually do the same thing so let's let off yeah so it's it's adjusts the regenerative braking right where it says charge and you can adjust that with the paddle shifters so we're just cruising along here uh, some people went up to Angel's Crest or Angel's Crest or whatever it's called and the cops are everywhere and pulling people over so you know that's a problem we're just gonna take it around town and get a feel for this car I mean here's the difference between this car and let's say the Leaf, for example. They're both electric cars, but this is something you show up in and you feel cool. This is a cool thing to show up in. The Porsche Taycan is the same way. And then the Tesla kind of goes right in between those two. The Tesla is more like, it's very functional, but it's also the looks of it are not totally shocking. The Roadster will change that, I would argue that this EV is the most beautiful EV that's currently out on the market. The other one that I'll say is the Hyundai Ioniq 5. That is also beautiful. It has a retro styling to it, so I really like that, but oh my god is this fast. It has beans. It has beans. Also, shout out. It's what's a, it? It's a Bobby's Place. Dude, Bobby's Place is the hottest breakfast spot in Los Angeles. Don't even at me. That place, what, no, what'd no you blow, get? No blowouts, clean burn. I got right. a, they called it a, um, I don't even know what it's called. It was like a burrito or something. I just got the breakfast sandwich with, uh, I got the no clean burn breakfast sandwich with bacon. What I mean by clean burn is if you're going on a road trip, right? You don't want to have stomach issues, blowouts. You want to have a clean burn. And that's what Bobby's Place represented to me. So shout out to Bobby's Place. I will have their address linked in the description because, and no, there's no partnership. I paid for my sandwich place, it's great. Let's do an acceleration test here to the red light. Oh, holy. Fully Alcantara roof, Alcantara steering wheel, Jeez. cooled seats. Let's get them cranked. Dude, this is such a nice, I mean, like if I had the money, I would absolutely buy this. Like to rip around town in an electric vehicle that drives like this, and sounds like this. The other thing, we'll do some exterior shots. There's a sound that this car has. It sounds like it has an exhaust or that it's on. It has presence to it, not silence. RS badging everywhere. Let's see if there's different select drive modes. Right drive modes. So we're in comfort, we're in dynamic now. So dynamic is the most aggressive mode. I felt it shift down into first gear. I've driven the Porsche Taycan extensively. I would pick this. I love this thing. I think it looks a little bit better. You know, looks, everyone has their opinion on looks, so, you know. But the way this drives, they're very similar in how they drive. I just, something about the Audi is really exciting to me. I think it looks uh, a lot more sporty. Yeah. The Porsche Taycan looks kind of more like classy, in my opinion. Yeah. Yeah, that's the thing. I, I do like both of them. You know what it is? You know why I like this better? It's because it has buttons. That's why because it has all these buttons. The Porsche was all heptics. This is more familiar, and I like that. I And you know what, the other thing is, I don't know what the range is. I'll have that linked at the bottom of the screen, but I also don't care. 
because this would be something that I just want to rip around town in. Like if you're if you're wealthy, you want to get a cool car to rip around town, but you don't want to be paying for gas constantly. This is a great option. It's stunning to look at. It's comfortable to be in, but yet it's an RS model, so it's very fast. The other thing that's cool about electric vehicles is you're able to rip around city streets without bothering anyone. You don't have a loud exhaust. You, you're not going to upset anyone because your car's too loud. You're still having fun because of the G-forces, but you're not upsetting anyone else, and that's kind of nice too. Just so there is some factual information in the video, starts from $142,000, has 590 horsepower, 196 inches long, two-speed automatic transmission, and a curb weight of 5,137 pounds. Warranty is four year, 50,000 mile, and then four year, 50,000 mile powertrain. Seating capacity for five, and away we go. Also has a nice area here for your phone. M2 competition right there. I love this car. I, I really like this car. It's, you know, if you're not gonna build a car that is gonna get a ton of range, you need to build a car that's fun to drive, and this checks that box. It's very expensive, but you feel like you're driving an expensive car. You know, I, I drove the Mercedes EQS. I like the car, but I like the Mercedes S-Class better. This just fills a void very nicely, even though the cost is crazy. It's not your everyday driver. It could be your everyday driver. If you're local, you're in the city, or you have a set commute, you could absolutely drive this every day, as long as you have a charging set up at home. But I, I can't say enough good about it. All the details in the doors. Like, look at your door over there, the Alcantara. Alcantara or Alcantara? What do you guys think? Let me know <laughs> down in the comments. All right, little acceleration test just to give you guys an idea of what this thing is like. Of course, right into traffic. Holy hell. It almost sounded like when I let off, the exhaust popped, but it doesn't have an exhaust. I think that was my back. Oh, is that what yeah. it was? Oh my God. Sorry, sir, I just need to get in front of you here. Yes, I do have carbon ceramics, sir. Andrew, you ready to vomit yet? Keep doing that, man. <laughs> Woo! Yeah, I've said only good things about this car because that really is all there is to say. I will say, like, as we're doing all these reviews and there's all these people making car videos talking about the cars, I started to ask myself, I'm like, why does any of this matter? Like, why do we care? But we do. I guess it's better than doing drugs, right? Just have a hobby of looking at cars obsessively. All right, we're gonna find an area to pull over so Andrew can drive, but yeah. Hey, if you can afford it, absolutely get this thing. So if you compare this to a Tesla Model S Plaid, what would you get? I've never been in a Plaid, okay. so. So that's a problem. That's a problem. I like I like the big screen that the Tesla has. If they both had the, the same screen, I'd probably choose this. I think I would take this over a Plaid. Even though the Plaid's faster and it can go farther and it, you know, all the things, I get it. I think I would take Take this. It just has a little more character to it, whereas the plaid is sterile. It's robotic. It, it's amazing. This still has some, has a little more character. That's what I think. Happy I got to drive it. Another thing to note is the ride quality. Roads are not good out here. We're in Pasadena, and the ride quality is great. Cracked roads, and these are like 21 inch wheels or 20 inch wheels, and it's just eating it up. I'm sure it has an air suspension, so that's part of it, but it just feels as it should, highly refined really nice job. I didn't expect that because it's an RS model and because of the low profile tires. So it exceeded my expectations from a ride quality standpoint. Another thing to note in the Porsche Taycan did this as well. When you change drive mode, so right now I'm in efficiency mode, so the air suspension lowered, the range also reflects what drive mode you're in. So I was at 171 miles of range. I am now at 186 miles of range. Just another nice feature to have on deck. So we'll put it into comfort mode. Air suspension lifts up and levels the car so you have a little bit more travel in the suspension. So that's, that's a really good feature as well. And again, it reflects the range. We're now at 176 miles of range in comfort mode. So just some cool nuances to this car. The display is amazing. So here's a look at the display, go on view. You can kind of go through lap times if you take it to the track. E-tron logo here. Just look at the center console. I'd say if you're entering like a parking garage or something, you should put it into comfort mode because it automatically raises it up. It feels weird that there's like almost no regen. Yeah. 
drives like a normal car does for the most part. Uh, so that's it, folks. That's a look at the Audi e-tron GT. This thing is stunning. I don't know what it is that I like a little bit more than the Porsche, but it's just, they're built on the same chassis. I don't know, something about this feels more special and especially for the cost of it, you want it to feel that way. A car like this, I'm not totally worried about the range on it because it's, it's a performance electric car and it has enough range to get around the city, make your local commute to work and do that without having any exhaust fumes. So thank you guys for watching. If you're still with me, drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel. I would greatly appreciate it. But that's it. Just take in this beautiful car and this beautiful scenery.